vaccine restrictions. AMC announcing it's going to reopen theaters next week and tickets will be just 15 cents on reopening day. The price is to celebrate the company's 100th anniversary and that's about what it cost to see a movie back in the 1920s. Now the movie theater chain plans to reopen more than 100 of its cinemas next Thursday the 20th then expecting to open most of its remaining locations by September 3rd. In the reopened theaters people will have to wear masks and the theaters will have a lower capacity. Always nice to get into a movie theater, but also nice to get out and about. Let's check in with Storm Center 7 meteorologist Kirsty Zantini. Good morning. We have been dealing with a few showers and storms on Monday from that derecho event that came through. And now we're seeing a little bit of an improvement again when it comes to that U.S. drought monitor. So this was actually just released yesterday. I need to change the date up here. Uh, this came in on Thursday for us. And what we did see, thankfully, is a little bit of an improvement. So unfortunately, our eastern counties that are still under a moderate drought and includes parts of Logan, Champaign, and Greene counties, but we did get a big area here along and west of I-75 that uh, got out of the abnormally dry category, so that is good news, of course, as we continue on through the rest of summertime. Now, as I mentioned before, it does look like next week and really into the middle of the month, we are expecting below normal temperatures. You can see that bullseye is a little further south, though, so uh, slowly as we head towards the end of August, we'll likely start to trend back up, but at least for now, you can enjoy a little bit of some cooler air that will arrive for next week. And when it comes to the chance for dry weather, we're kind of right in the middle there. So we've got equal chances to stay close to or a little bit uh, wetter or drier than normal. So really that dry uh, conditions building in the central part of the country, uh, still the potential for rainfall off to our east. This morning we are dry, so we're not going to worry about the rain or storms until a little later this afternoon. You can see looking in downtown Springfield, pretty good here this morning. It's 67 degrees. Our winds are out of the north. Very light breeze, but the dew points are still in the 60s, so it is going to be another muggy day. Live Doppler 7 radar is dry for now, but as I mentioned, we will get a little bit of afternoon activity. Uh, there's a boundary that is to our south and an area of low pressure that's going to come through that will help to trigger a few storms, and then tomorrow, as that system exits, I think we'll get another push of moisture. We're around 64 degrees in Salina, 68 this morning morning in Springfield, 67 still in Dayton. So it's a nice mild morning at least. This afternoon, above normal temperatures. We'll hit 85 in Wapakoneta. It'll be 88 degrees in Miamisburg and 87 degrees in Centerville. Tonight, we're going to dip down to 67, and any storms that develop in the afternoon will fizzle out pretty quickly as we head on into the second half of our night. So uh, we will see a little bit of dry weather then as you head into the Friday night plans that you may have. As we get into uh, tomorrow, we will see the chance again for a few more storms. I'll show you this all on future cast. We do see temperatures here starting off pleasant this morning. We get some peaks of sun, but we will have a little more cloud cover to deal with throughout our entire Friday. And then as we heat up, once we get towards about 2 o'clock, you see a few pop-up thunderstorms will develop. So that's what you need to watch out for. Right in the middle of the afternoon, 2 till about 6 o'clock or so, we'll have those storms. They will start to fizzle out into the evening hours. And then as we head for tomorrow morning, you wake up to dry weather. But again, one more push of moisture for Saturday. I think we'll have scattered showers throughout the afternoon. But again, similar timing, we should start to dry out for Saturday night. So just keep that in mind if you are making outdoor plans. Our five-day forecast, we'll still see some showers on Sunday and then we stay cooler as we head into next week. Let's get a check on the roads now with Sergeant Mark. Good morning, Sarge. And good morning, Kirsty. Some excellent conditions for our drive this morning. Now, we do have a crash. It actually happened about 1.30 this morning, so about four hours ago, this crash. Uh, the State Patrol have been on scene now. Uh, they have uh, eastbound 70 closed to traffic at mile marker 5, about five miles from the Ohio-Indiana border. However, they are using the shoulder to keep traffic moving, so you won't uh, necessarily have to use a detour. You can always use Route 40 coming out of uh, Indiana and then use uh, Route 40 over to 127 if you want an alternate route. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. If it uh, extends further into the morning drive, it could actually wind up being a major problem there. Right now, it's uh, a minor one. Here's Interstate 70 at Airport Access Road. This part of the freeway is looking good. I'm Sergeant Mark Bauer and WHIO Team Traffic. All right, Sergeant, thank you. Why not download the free WHIO Weather app before you head out the door if you haven't done so already? Always nice to see what we can expect as the weekend rolls. 
rolls in with our team of Storm Center 7 meteorologists. All you have to do is search WHIO weather in your app store. 521 in the Oakwood Lumberjacks football team says it's ready for Friday night. While the players say they've got so much to prove on the field this year. I'm Lisa Robertson.